The Legend of the Blue Bonnet. Once upon a time, there was a great famine. There was no rain day after day, month after month. The land was dying. The animals were dying. The people were dying. The Comanche people suffered a lot. The sight of their dear ones dying left them distraught. Among them lived a little girl named She who is all alone. Her mother and father, brothers and sisters, and grandparents had all died in the Great Famine. She was alone, so the people called her She who is all alone. She who is all alone had a doll. She loved the doll. Her father and her mother had made the doll for her. The eyes were painted with the juice of berries. The trousers were decorated with beads. The doll's hair was filled with the bright blue feathers of the bird who cries, J, J, J. She who is all alone carried the doll everywhere. She often thought of her father and mother, her brothers and sisters, and grandparents. Now they were all just shadows. She only had the doll now to remind her of the glorious days. The dancers lined up, and the drums were set. They started singing out loud, "Great spirits, the land is dying. What have we done? What must we do?" For three days, the dancers danced, but no rain came. They waited and waited, but with no success. The shaman went to the top of the hill. He asked the great spirits what the people must do. The shaman returned and spoke to the people gathered around the fire. The great spirit says the people have been selfish. They have taken from the earth. And not given back to the earth, the people must now give to the earth their most precious possessions, burning them and giving the ashes to the four corners of the winds: north, south, east, and west. The famine will cease and life will be restored," said the shaman. The people sang, "Not my new bow, no, no, not my new blanket." No, no, not my shining knife. No, no, not my new cooking pot. No, no, not my silent moccasins. No, no, not my beaded blouse. No, no. The shaman asked them to think it over, and everyone laughed. She who is all alone. Knew that the great spirits wanted her doll. She knew what she must do. She waited until it was dark, took a burning stick from the fire, and climbed to the top of the hill. She reached the place where the great spirits had spoken to the shaman. She gathered the twigs and started a fire. She looked up at the starlit sky and said. Oh, great spirit! Here is my doll. It is all I have. Please accept it. Her eyes filled with tears as she thought of her family. Then she set her favorite doll on fire. She felt the pain of the twisting heat and the sting of the smoke. She watched the flames die. She waited silently beneath the sky of stars. Until the ashes were cold, then she threw the ashes toward the homes of the four winds: to the north, the south, the east, and the west. She lay down and fell asleep. In the morning, on waking, she found herself lying on blue flowers, as blue as the bird who sings J J J. The ground was covered with these brilliant flowers where the ashes fell. They were the sign of forgiveness from the great spirits. The people saw the bright blue flowers on the hill and came to see them, and found she who is all alone. 
And it began to rain, and the people sang and danced, and the grass and leaves grew, and the animals returned. The land lived again. From that day, the little girl was known as the one who loves her people. The Legend of the Blue Bonnet.